friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library. Today is going to be a book haul. If you've been here before, you may know that I typically don't do a book haul unless I haul a lot of books. Otherwise, I just kind of show you the one or two books that I bought during TBR Takedown. So I bought a lot of books this month. I do believe the final number was 20, though three of those are in a bind up. I still think it's 20. I still think it counts. And we are going to start with books that you may have seen last month when we hauled books. Uh, that is the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by Victoria Schwab. We have A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. If you were here when I hauled these last month, I hauled books two and three. I already owned one. Um, I hauled two and three and they were not the same edition, even though what I was sold was the same edition. Um, and Amazon was having a sale on Prime Day for book boxes. And so I bought this box set and then I am returning the other two um, because they were not as described. So I will have a full complete matching set. There was also a box set that I have been looking at for a while that I really wanted to get and it was something that I said would be my gift to myself when I finally finished my bookshelves and as you can see they're here and it was also on sale on Prime Day. Um, these are the only books that I bought off of Amazon. I try to be as transparent as possible with what I buy on Amazon and where I buy things from. Um, Amazon is kind of the worst so I, I do buy some books there for sure. I don't completely not buy there but I do try to buy from my local indie or from bookshop or book of the month. There's a bunch of different places that I purchase from not just Amazon but these two box sets did come from Amazon. And so the next series that I picked up was The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer and I got the new cover editions. So I have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter, Star the Above, and Fairest all in the new covers. Speaking of my local indie, I bought four books from there this month, so let's go over those. And these you probably may or may not heard of, so we can actually talk about what the books are about. I didn't figure you needed to know what A Darker Shade of Magic or The Lunar Chronicles was about. The first was the July's book club pick, and that was The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. And this book is set on an island that has no name with a main character that also has no name. And on this island, things disappear fairly regularly. It starts off with like innocuous things like hats or ribbons, and then it becomes birds and fruit and other things that are important to the people. And this book follows our main character as she tries to uh, navigate a world where there are people who don't necessarily forget the things that have disappeared whereas she's someone who does forget the things that disappear and trying to figure out really just how to exist in that world. This is a very um, it's not something where you're gonna at the end figure out what's happening why things are disappearing it's more of like an introspective reflective viewpoint of uh, looking at the world from this specific manner. Um, if you are doing the amazing readathon and you are part of the blue team, this would be a great blue book that is also translated. So, also from my local indie, and also a book that would work for the amazing readathon for green team that's translated uh, Foul Eulogies by Lucy Rico. This one was translated from French. It involves a girl who is, is she a vegan or a vegetarian? She's a vegetarian and she grew up on a chicken farm and her mother dies and she has to go back to settle the affairs at the chicken farm. So she's a vegetarian at a chicken farm, running a chicken farm. It's not an egg farm, my friends. It is a meat farm. And it does include eulogies for chickens with fun names such as Louette, Bluette, Marengo, Charles, Swine, Coco, Carla, George, and my personal favorite, Rotisserie. I haven't read this one yet, so I don't really know what it's about other than that, but you know, there she is. Next from the local indie is Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister. This book is a adult mystery 
some call it a thriller I wouldn't say it's very thrilling I have read it since actually I bought it before I read it before I bought it any hoozle um, it is a woman who sees her 18 year old son commit a murder outside of their home and she doesn't know why her son would have killed this stranger and while she's trying to piece that together when she goes to bed that night she wakes up and rather than it being the next day it's the day before and every time she goes to sleep she's moving further and further back in time trying to piece together how her son committed this act that she never would have thought that he would have done. This book is very twisty, really had a good time, but you'll learn more about that in the wrap. And the last book that I picked up at the local indie was Sing Our Bones Eternal by Casey Rayburn. This was in the local author selection, so this is an Ohio author, and also, I mean... Is she not gorgeous? I'm just going to read this to you here in the flap because I am not really sure what this book's about. When Sanga Goldie finds herself stranded on Hourglass Isle with her wicked family, she becomes the host of an ancestral haunting. Bound by a covenant to an angry god, a hungry god rather, maybe he's hangry, Singa has all the trappings of a huntress, but her world is shattered when a mirror-wielding mermaid befriends her. Through the mists and the fog, cloven bodies wash ashore, sinister songs haunt the tide pools, and burnt offerings rise from the sea cliffs. Every once in a while I just want to pick up a local author, and I, this was facing front, and so obviously I had to have it, clearly. I then got my gorgeous cover edition of Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. She's green, she's gorgeous. She has sprayed edges. She has a bookmark. I mean, what more could a girl want? Um, this is the second book in the Daughter of the Pirate King duology, but there's actually a companion novel coming out later this year. Actually, I actually think it's coming out in August. And they released new cover editions. It follows our main character, Alosa, who gets herself captured and taken onto a ship by one of her father, who's the Pirate King's enemies. And she falls for his first mate. And she's trying to help her father find a pirate map so they can find this cove of sirens and all their treasure. Yeah. We then have my book of the month picks, and that is Riley Sager's The Only One Left. This is set in the early 80s. Our main character, Kit, is a like home health aide and she takes on a job at this location for an old lady named Lenora who possibly killed her entire family like her mother her father and her sister um, when she was a teen late teen early 20s and in this book she is very elderly she's had a series of strokes that have left her immobile other than either her right or her left hand I don't remember which and the book follows Kit trying to like reconcile taking care of this woman who may or may not have killed her entire family and deciding if she really needs to be afraid of her um, because you know if she is really this injured then she's not really something to be afraid of. Um, Kit starts to see other things that are going on at this house and there's some creepy things some spooky things there's stuff going on and Kit needs to figure it out. I also picked up Dark Corners by Megan Golden. I actually have an arc of this and I haven't read it yet. I don't think it's out yet. This was an early release copy I'm you know I'm a mess okay I'm a mess this is a follow-up to she's over here somewhere help me out the night swim uh the night swim and dark corners both follow the same main character she is the host of a podcast and I believe she gets like a Someone puts her in a position where she's supposed to be investigating someone who's like possibly a stalker and then he starts stalking her, I think. Uh, the next one is The Bind Up and that is the last Herald Mage trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. This is Magic's Pawn, Magic's Promise, and Magic's Price. If you were here earlier this year, I this year read this bind up of the Arrows trilogy. Um, and these are set in the same world. So I looked up um, like most people's recommended reading order. This was the beginning. This is the next trilogy. There are multiple trilogies in this world, in this series, if you will. And um, this is the one that I was told to pick up next. 
I don't really know what it's about. I can tell you that this one in particular is set in a world where the queen has these heralds that are basically they have these like magic horses that choose their rider and their rider are people who go and train um, to help keep order in the country that they're in and they help protect the queen and in this one our main character um, is chosen by a horse to be a rider at a very young age and kind of like weirdly because she comes from this area of the country where they don't teach their people that this is a thing um, and so we follow her from like her adolescent age to her being in her early 20s um, basically like a whole arc of her life um, up until the point where she gets her like her bearings if you will and we just get to meet her friends and her family and her found family uh, found family aspect is very strong in these um, magic horses romance crazy adventures this series was fantastic so I had to pick up this guy even though it follows a different main character. I also picked up The Bone Witch by Ren Chepeco simply because I've read from Ren Chepeco before. I have DNF some Ren Chepeco books but I've also gave some five stars so um, again this month is the amazing readathon. I am a co-captain if you will of the purple team and one of the bonuses that we get is if we read a book that's 51% or more of our team's color and this one is definitely 50% purple so when I was at the store I seen it and I was like gotta have that and then the last book that I have for you today is The Whisper Man by Alex North I don't know what this book is about um, but when I was out at the bookstore um, this was a Barnes and Noble trip with uh, my niece we were doing school shopping she picked this one up because she wanted it and then she decided she wanted a different book and then I read the back of this and I was like well this sounds cool so I was like I'll just get it and you can borrow it and you can read it because like we live in the same house half the time anyway so why does it matter this just says after the sudden death of his wife Tom Kennedy believes a fresh start will help him and his young son Jake heal a new beginning a new house a new town Featherbank. but the town has a dark past 20 years ago a serial killer abducted and murdered five residents until Frank Carter was finally caught he was nicknamed the whisper man for he would lure his victims out by whispering at their windows at night that's fucking creepy just as Tom and Jake settle into their new home a young boy vanishes his disappearance bears an unnerving resemblance to Frank Carter's crimes reigniting old rumors that he preyed with an accomplice now detectives Amanda Beck and Pete Willis must find the boy before it's too late and then Jake begins acting strangely he hears a whispering at his window dot 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 but yeah, Danica picked this one up. She thought it sounded interesting. And I was like, it does sound interesting. She picked, ended up picking up something else. I don't even remember what it was. And I was like, let's keep that one. I'll, I'll read it. It's fine. We did. Therein lies the 20 books that I bought in the month of July. How am I doing with um, reading the books I bought this year? But they're on two shelves now. So it's, it's fine. So we went from one shelf to two. we're doing great we're not I should within the next couple of days have a wrap-up up and then a few days after that should have the TBR takedown up as well if I am managing to get my things accomplished in a timely manner who knows that is all I have for today I post reading writing book and planner related content a couple of times a week if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time bye